The Advent scripture for today is from Philippians 2. And the devotional was written by Grace Spencer of Reunion in Oakville. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish, selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. Okay. For four years, I worked as a mediator at the Center for Peacemaking in Fresno, California. The majority of my work involved being juvenile, involved helping juvenile offenders meet with their victims to apologize and make things as right as possible through a restorative justice process. However, I would handle other cases from time to time. One such case involved a group of bright, passionate graduate students working together to pursue justice and reconciliation in their community. Conflict unfolded between them and when left unmanaged, escalated to an irreparable point. We met with each individual to listen to their perspective and experience of the conflict, hoping to move them towards a mediation. Still, not a single one would take any responsibility for the role they played in the conflict. When this conflict comes to mind, it still troubles my heart. It is difficult to understand how peacemakers committed to cultivating space for voices to be heard could develop the mentality and embody the spirit they worked hard to dismantle. While pursuing wholeness in our communities, it is tempting to believe that we can do it without Jesus. This Advent season reminds us that only Jesus, who emptied himself of his divine privilege and became human to pursue peace with his enemies, can lead us in the way of wholeness. Let us pray. Lord, Keep my heart humble and teach me to walk in the rhythms of your peace. Amen.